It's a highly realistic scenario for security guards in Kenya's capital, Nairobi. An armed robbery, an attacker with a gun, a life-threatening situation. Only the proper training can save lives. But with security guards spread out over many locations in a city, companies face a problem. Keeping track if guards show up for work. Often they send untrained friends or family members to fill in their shift. Take Kate Kiguro. She would be no help in karate. However, she has sort of a black belt status in mobile technology development. With the support of Nairobi's Tech Hub Nailab, Kate has solved the problem of the so-called ghost workers. I came up with a mobile application that ensures that you have the right people at the right location. Uh, the, uh, the mobile application combines GPS and the camera feature. And this is how the system called Akida works. Guards use a cell phone app to take a photo of each other and enter a personal ID number. Pressing the send button will update their status in the company's database. A supervisor matches the photo of the guard on file and learns about the guard's location at a given time. The cell phone GPS cannot lie, cheating the system is not possible. This company, Nairobi, is already using Kate's software application, giving clients the peace of mind that they get what they pay for. Uh, we have got over 5,000 guards and this is uh, not an easy uh, number of people uh, to uh, supervise without the efficient, without the uh, alternative of having some electronic data. The sheer size of Kenya's security industry could provide a unique market opportunity for the new application. I plan to roll out Akida as a software as a service, and I charge a small fee for every guard that. Uh, uses or is verified through the system it would be as low as uh, uh, one shilling a day, Kenya shilling. But then, if I could get all the guards signed up in the system, which in Kenya we're talking of about 500,000 guards, then a shilling a day would definitely um, make money out of that. That is a small price for the security industry, but maybe a big success for this small Kenyan startup.